Hello everyone, back again with movie and tune recap. Today, I'm going to explain an American supernatural horror film from 2014, titled Mercy. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. The movie begins in a house where a woman named Mercy has just given birth to triplets. Suddenly, her husband Frank walks in and kills himself by taking an axe to his own head. In the present day, George, a teenager who loves playing the violin, enjoys a close relationship with his grandmother Mercy, whom he considers his best friend. George is often bullied by his schoolmates, but he finally stands up to them after his grandmother encourages him to face his fears. During a holiday dinner with the rest of the family, Mercy suddenly collapse and begins to act insane. She violently assaults anyone who comes close to her, including George's brother Buddy, but allows George to approach her. Mercy tells George that all she wanted was a baby and warns him to get out, saying someone is coming for her. Paramedics arrive shortly, and Mercy is placed in the RL flag home for the aged. One year later, Rebecca, the mother of George and Buddy and Mercy's daughter, tells her sons that their grandma is suffering from a stroke, so they will now be responsible for taking care of her, and the family sets off on their journey to Mercy's residence. Upon their arrival, they find the house a bit creepy on the outside but nice inside and while unpacking, George tells Buddy about their grandfather Frank's death by axe, which creeps Buddy out. Jim, a family friend who seems to be interested in Rebecca despite having a wife, visits them, on the other hand, George regularly communicates with an imaginary friend he calls the girl next door. Rebecca and her sons drive to the home for the aged to pick up Mercy, who has been taken care of by Uncle Lon, Rebecca's sibling. Though the boys, especially Buddy, find it hard to care for Mercy due to her old age, Rebecca urged them to be strong. Rebecca injects Mercy with medication to calm her down whenever she goes insane, and one night, while George is watching over Mercy, he sees multiple legs under her blanket, which frightens him. The next morning, George finds a message in Mercy's mailbox that reads, Haster's got her George. Get away. Run. Rebecca recognized the handwriting as her sister Ginny's but can't figure out how she sent it since Ginny is committed to an asylum. Meanwhile, Buddy is trying to feed Mercy, but she refused. When George mentions Haster's name, Mercy hastily grabs the spoon from Buddy's hand. During a celebration to welcome Mercy back home, which includes her old friends visiting her, Mercy notice a priest and starts getting mad, causing the priest to leave. George, who has been watching, goes inside where he meets Jim Swan and his wife Charlotte, an artist who is showing Rebecca her artwork. They come across a drawing that Charlotte explains as the death wolf, which chase and eats people, scaring George. George is instructed to go to the cellar to bring some drinks, he tries to turn on the cellar light, but it won't work. Suddenly, the axe used by Frank begins to shake before Uncle Lon grabs George from behind. Lon, holding the message, tells George that Mercy has evil powers and felt abandoned after Rebecca joined the military. When Ginny married her boyfriend Terry Clay, Mercy became upset over losing another daughter. On their honeymoon, Terry was mysteriously mauled, and Ginny lost her mind as a result. Angry that George doesn't believe Mercy is a witch, Lon use a wood chipper to destroy the message. When it's George's turn to feed Mercy, he calls Haster's name, causing her to hastily grab the food and eat. She seems terrified whenever she hears the name and starts speaking in another language before regaining her senses. The next morning, George goes to Mercy's room where she starts acting insane and begins stabbing herself with a needle, but George managed to stop her. Mercy convince him to secretly exchange her medication with Celine so she can begin regaining her strength. George does so but keeps one of the medications intact. He, Buddy, and Rebecca leave for town with Uncle Lon watching over Mercy. George visits a local priest about his grandmother, the same priest Mercy was angry with during his visit. Pastor Gregory Luke tells George that he and his grandma used to be close friends and that she was once a prayerful and devoted Christian. However, things changed when she couldn't conceive due to her barrenness. Frustrated and desperate, Mercy turned to the occult to bear children, although she got what she wanted, but there was a price to pay. Something changed in Frank, who became a drunkard and he eventually killed himself. Rebecca, Buddy, 
and George return after a day in town to discover that Mercy has killed Lon while they were away, but the death is ruled to be the result of Lan's drinking, as it appeared he tried to strangle Mercy. The next morning, while cleaning up, the brothers find a hidden panel in the floor. Inside, they discover a grimoire with three teardrops etched into its cover, and when they open the book, they find all the pages are blank. George and Buddy decides to consult family friend Jim about the mysterious tome, where they encounter creepy artwork. Jim and Charlotte are not home, but Buddy finds a book on witchcraft lore explaining that Mercy's grimoire is a weeping book, whose pages only reveal their contents when someone cries tears onto them while praying for something deeply desired. Suddenly, George and Buddy are startled by Jim's dog and the brothers ran away. While holding the book, George force a tear from his eye onto a page and the page reveal an image of George's screaming face. Terrified, Buddy takes the book away from George and puts it in a wood chipper. However, a piece of debris from the chipper impales Buddy, forcing Rebecca to take him to the hospital, leaving George alone with Mercy. That night, George hears a knock at the door but finds no one there, he sees a verbena plant left anonymously on his front porch. George researches the flower online and learns that it is considered a holy plant. He also looks up the name Haster and discovers that it is associated with a demon. Suddenly, Mercy begins to panic and tells George that the Death Wolf, a mythical creature that Charlotte painted, is coming. As Mercy's insanity starts again, George managed to calm her down by injecting her with the medication he kept earlier. George receives a call from Aunt Ginny, who tells him that Mercy's spirit wants him, Ginny says she escaped the mental hospital and is on her way to meet him. She instructs George to escape Mercy's house and make the sign of the cross when he sees the demon before hanging up. Suddenly, Mercy drops dead, leaving George devastated. While calling 911, a shadow appears at the doorway, and suddenly, the lights in the house go out. George rushed to his room to retrieve his flashlight, but when he tries to leave the house, he discovers that all the doors are locked and to make matters worse, Mercy's body has gone missing. He tries to escape using the window, but it won't open, or break. Suddenly, the girl next door appears to George, and tells him to retrieve the axe in the cellar to break down the doors. George heads to the cellar to grab the axe but encounters the ghost of Frank, which terrifies him. In another room, George accidentally stumbles into a ceremonial circle and sees new pages depicting his torment in the weeping book, which has magically reappeared. Suddenly, the front door opens, and when George attempts to flee the house again, Mercy, now possessed by Haster, captures him. When the possessed Mercy tries to harm George, he uses the verbena plant to burn his grandmother's face and escape. Mercy briefly gives chase, but the sight of the death wolf outside frightens her back into the house. George goes to Jim's house, where he tells Jim and Charlotte everything that happened. Charlotte explains that the death wolf is not a demon, rather, it goes after those who are wicked. Jim takes George to find his mother, however, Jim pulls a gun and confesses that Haster was helping him use the weeping book to have a life with Rebecca. Jim proceeds to drive George back to his grandma's house, but chaos ensues and George causes Jim's vehicle to spin out. George escapes, and Jim goes after him, however, Jim is startled by the death wolf and is suddenly run over by an oncoming car. George finds Aunt Ginny dead in her car nearby and receives a call from his mom, who is now back home and suddenly she is attacked. Left with no option, George returns to Mercy's house to rescue his mother, where he encounters the death wolf and hastily rush inside. George finds his mom chained up in the cellar and barely conscious. As he tries to remove the chains, they suddenly tie his hands, and the possessed Mercy grabs him and drags him back to the ceremonial circle. Mercy begins reciting the rites to possess George, even vomiting black goo on his face, but stops when she notices Frank holding the axe. The chains tying George's hands suddenly loosen, and he hastily grabs the axe, but can't find Mercy anywhere. George ends up in a confrontation with his possessed grandma that culminates in him seemingly destroying Mercy with Frank's axe. Thinking it's all over, Mercy attacks George again, but it turns out to be Haster controlling Mercy's body like a puppet. 
A weeping book page reveals that Haster intends to possess George, Haster splits open Mercy's head and bleeds her all over the book's pages. The demon enters the book, and her dark essence then shrouds George. George recalls a memory of his grandmother advising him to be brave. He sheds a tear onto the book, dissipating the darkness and returning the pages to their blank state. The girl next door appears and reveals that she was an incarnation of Mercy's younger self, helping to guide George before disappearing, as well as the death wolf. The next day, Rebecca, George, and Buddy later bury the weeping book in the ground as the movie concludes. Okay guys, that's all the recap about Mercy from 2014. Thanks for watching, see you again in the next video.